Yo guys, what's up? So if you guys are planning to buy these kind of bags soon from Lazada, you guys have seen your family members have using this for medical purposes or cable management bags. I have these two kind of models right here and it comes differently in terms of the sticker design. So if you were to see a bit different in terms of quality of printout on the bag, keep in mind that this is considered one of the most affordable prices I've found at Lazada. The link template is the cheapest among all the rest of the bags. So here is the two layer bag, means that we have two compartments. So the bag is with this kind of material, which is a very fantastic material they have chosen. Uh, this is in red, uh, so it has a bit of blacks in between, of course. It's like a modern fabric kind of look. And as you can see on the side, it has a bigger portion on the bottom and a thinner portion on the top because it has a smaller compartment size on the top. So let's see the zip. It has two zips on the top and it definitely has also another two zips at the bottom. So the handle is, is very thin. I mean if you were to be carrying a very heavy stuff inside, if you were to really yank this thing really hard, it might just, you know, tear off, you know. So be careful. But I bet this thing is still strong regardless. I don't think you'll be carrying that much of heavy stuff in this bag, so but keep in mind if someone else is holding this towards the end, it might just tear off. But I, I don't think so in terms of usability and practicality. I think you guys are careful people. And uh yeah, the stitching is just a one stitching, there's no double X or anything. Pretty simple stitching. Because they want to keep the price low. This comes around 19 ringgit to 25 ringgit depending on the seasonal price. So. Alright. Again with the logo. It's like st stick it on like press on iron. I think you guys can tell that. Alright, it's pretty a good looking bag to say the least. This bag has been with me for the past two months. And um, in terms of uh, wearing off, I think it still looks good, except for this part, as you can see, it's normal wear and tear. But overall, the color still remains the same, and there's no like problem with the fabric. So let's go with the first compartment. So the first compartment here is a thinner layer. You get two pockets here and two rubber bands here but in the mid part if you were to plan to put a something like towards the end it goes this way so don't expect it to go all down and secure it that way for example I have here this one you have to choose either one and this one of course all the way put it like this way right it doesn't matter but it's still loose depending on the size so here we have a zip So this is quite okay for the price for 20 ringgit. The zip here and the net is also good enough. And um, you can know that there's a double layer going on from inside and outside. They claim it is waterproof. So, you know, it is protected as a foam here on this side. So... I think it's well protected as well at certain lighter bumps. Then you have a few pockets here, here and here. Rubber band, rubber band, rubber band. And there's a zipper, same way. And there's a gap here. You can see the two zips towards the end of each side. You can see the tipping here, the dip. First the pencil, charger. So it's a bit loose again. A bit loose, it will fall off for this side because the midsection a longer width, shorter width. All right, this one stays in place. Your earphone, this is just for fun. I'm not going to do it nicely, but this part it will fall off. Depend on what size of object you want to put in. A SD card, yeah, very loose, loose as well. But you can put it here, doesn't matter, right? So how about a pen drive? Yep, 
So fall off the cable here. The wireless earbuds. This one should be in the pocket. I'm gonna lose. This is also gonna lose. Not this one. It's really tight. <laughs> I didn't think they're gonna fall off. The basic size calculator. You guys can estimate. So this one fits in nicely, the size. You guys can estimate the size if I were to put a calculator here. Yep, it does fit in that one. A hard disk. Yep, nice. Thick of a power bank. So this is standard iPad Pro 11 inch. And uh, I think it fits just snugly nice. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the second compartment. Because time is valuable. So we have here another bigger compartment. You will be given two of these things. You can attach like a camera bag. Okay. So in this compartment, let's put calculator. Hard disk. You can change the size. It doesn't matter. See, I can even fit here. I can adjust it if I, to my liking. Put a pencil box right over here. If possible, it is possible. Put a pen on the side. Put it here. Pen drive, whatever you want. Let's put some cables and such and so like that. So, it does fit all the things in this compartment, which is cool, and I can still zip it nicely. And, um, Does fit okay? So that's an 11 inch iPad Pro fits in. No, it does not. Wait, I have an iPad mini size, so I'm gonna put it here. It does fit. So you guys are planning to buy an iPad mini, it does fit. Okay, so let's go to the second bag. As you can see, again. The quality of the logo is not that. Uh, it's a bit different, and uh, yeah. So this is a bag that I use to go to the hospital. Um, I place things like strings and needles and so on for emergency mayday bag, um, <laughs> so I can have my stuff get ready for the patient. But anyways, if I were to unzip this, there's only one layer, and the zip here is. Rubber, comparing to the previous bag, aluminium, so it's a bit steadier compared to this one. So every bag comes in two zips, we have this logo called Travel. Holder here, it's the same kind of stitching, there's only one stitch straight like that. In terms of strength, I think this is a better strength because it's a shorter, a shorter width, so it doesn't have the capacity to you know tear it out easily compared to that one has a longer width it's much sturdier compared to this one go to the side so as you can see it has a roughly the same amount of compartment size at the bottom they just that they don't have the first layer compared to the red one in terms of size we have a smaller size here compared to the red color so it is smaller in size but it has the same base compartment as the red one Okay, this is black in color, but when it turns out when it's delivered, it looks like a bit dark gray compared to black, which I don't even mind as well because I prefer this color. But if you guys are going for the gray one, it's like a very light gray, judging through the pictures. But black itself is like a dark gray, which I really like. If you are planning to buy a Xiaomi bag, you can check out my video. Um, compared to this color, that color, this is much darker. Yeah, this is much darker. Alright, so let's take a look. So as you can see, um, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, I'm going to take it out. All this is my strange. I have put strange like here, like 10 cc all the way down. Fits in nicely. Uh, 
of course so enough of this all right let's talk about what other things we can put so here we have more of these things we get three i think the red color bag i used to have three i now it's two i, I misplaced the other one i think but i think the basic you get you'll be getting is three of these compartment straps here we have five with a rubber band on both ends it has a smaller band third and fourth has the same width of band even at the bottom part you can see a smaller compartment pocket compared to the middle and the sides so here we have a sponge um, material on the red one we do have a sponge texture but I don't think so we have it here on the smaller compartment because the smaller compartment on the red has no not that kind of fabric it has a very glossy waterproof fabric okay but this one has so it stays with this big compartment design which have this foam okay cable i think is quite straightforward so <laughs> it's ugly earphones here your pen drive we don't have a pocket so it's a bit harder to do that so this one gonna slip off anyways right over here this one can it's possible about this charger it's too big this guy let's test it out nope nope it's too big 11 inch ipad mini possible very possible just nice calculator at this power bank anything is possible here if you were to change the compartment size that's about it for this bag it just depends on your usage and your stuff that you want to put in I comment down below so I'll make a second video what kind of stuff you want me to put in and uh, as you can see previously there's compartment for strangers and so on looks cool right so it does if you guys are planning to do like a, like a medical bag it is fun it is fun to carry around this small size bag you can pop inside this inside another bag and you can go about your day and uh, i kind of enjoyed it so far having this as a medical bag i'll make a video on my daily pencil box case so this pencil box case is very unique it's because it's just the things i really need in a day so I have my G2 Pilot Pen, three colors here. My stapler ammo right over here. Then we have these two elastic bands that can place snugly, really nicely for, for it not to wobble around inside the pencil box. So it looks very organized and it make it stays in place. We have another two compartment here, here and here, and the net. So you can place it right here or you can do it this way okay it doesn't mean that you have to like you know do it this side because it's later harder for you to take it out just just do it this way and then you can put your stapler and your correction tape the pen drive take this out put it right over here so you will never forget then close it this way if you close it this way it will fall off but still it's manageable, you can just push in the stapler and then zip it in or you can do this this way easier, better and more secure and done then this is my favorite pencil box throughout the whole two years I've been using it and it's very compact, it's waterproof and the material here is very nice whole and it's black in color you can put whatever you want the zips here are still strong and um, you can change this the zip into something that you like kind of zips rather than this kind because this kind can easily you know break off but you can change it to this kind of uh, zips later on but so far it's a very good pencil box and I highly recommend you guys using this as your daily pencil box case and the link is down below I think it's around 10 to 20 ringgit depending on the seasonal price so okay guys hopefully 
you really enjoy this bit of video I've made I hope it really helps you guys on purchasing the items I showed you today and yeah have a good day please support this small channel of mine by subscribing giving a like and comment down below it helps a lot guys really much appreciate it thank you very much take care peace